Well, happy Lent. Welcome to St. Francis and John. This year, we, I would like to invite you to join me on this journey of the Station of the Cross, Mary Ways of the Cross. Every Friday, I would invite you to join me together with your family. Perhaps pray with us as we meditate on the mystery as Jesus himself entered the Passion to save all of us. Mary Ways of the Cross is a unique meditation on the final walk of Jesus from condemnation to death to his burial in the tomb. As seen through the eyes of Mary, the mother of Jesus, who made the first way of the cross, and as tradition holds, daily visited and walked the scene of Christ's passion. As we take this walk with Mary, let's remember this was not just her Savior, whose condemnation she was witnessing. This was her baby boy. The baby she swallowed and cuddled. The babies whose skin she touched to feel that softness only the baby's skin has. The baby that nursed at her breast, the toddler she chased after. The 12 year old boy she and Joseph fantically searched for and found in the temple, and the son she insisted chain the water to wine at the wedding feast. So, family, take a moment to quiet your inner self, asking God for the grace to receive all that He intends for you through this meditation. Then, with an expectant heart, let begins Mary ways of the cross. The first station, Jesus is condemned to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. It was early Friday morning when I saw my son that was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away. His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sword of pain deep into my heart and tears down my cheeks. Then Pilate, from his chair of judgment, asked the crowd why they want my son executed. All around me they shouted, crucified him crucified him. I wanted to plead with them to stop, but I knew that has to be, so I stood by and cried silently. Lord Jesus, it is hard for me to imagine the anguish your mother felt at your condemnation. But what about today when I hold a grudge, crucified him? When I judge others, crucify him. When I do all that is not of your kingdom, crucify him. Doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both of you and your mother? Forgive me, Lord Jesus, for all the times I have crucified you by my words and actions. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Regaining a little strength, I walk with the crowds to the entrance of the square. A door flew open and my son stumbled out, the guards laughing behind him. Two men dragged over a heavy wooden cross and dropped it on his bleeding shoulders. And they shovel him down to the road. The pain for him was unbearable. 
I want to take the cross from him and carry it myself like any mother would. But I knew this has to be, so I walk on silently. Lord Jesus, I beg you to forgive me for the many times I have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and loneliness of my neighbor. Forgive me for gossiping about others, for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people who wish to talk with me. Lord Jesus, forgive me for all the times I reject my cross and say, Why me? Give me the grace to accept my cross. Help me also to be like your mother Mary, always seeking to lighten the crosses of others. Forgive me, Lord Jesus, for all the time I have added to the way of your cross by my words and actions. Oh, how sad and sore distress was that mother highly blessed of the so begotten Son. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I follow close behind my son as he stumbled towards Calvary. Nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in so much pain. I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart fell when I saw him fall to the ground, the heavy cross crushing down squarely on his back. For a moment, I thought my beloved son was dead. Now my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. He rose slowly and began to walk again. Yet they still whip him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this has to be, so I walk on and wept silently. Lord, how often have I seen you fall and unlike Mary, have left you there without concern? How often have I seen people make mistakes and laugh at them? How often do I find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than I. Mary offer you her support through your entire passion. Help me to do the same for you by the support I give to others. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Is there one who would not weep? When is in misery so deep, Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The fourth station, Jesus met his grieving mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I had managed to beg through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met, mine full of tears of anguish, his full of pain. I felt helpless. Then his eyes said to me, Courage. There is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right. So I follow and pray silently. Lord Jesus, forgive me the many times our eyes met 
and I turn mine away. Forgive me for the times things I did not go my way, and I let everyone know about it. Forgive me the times I brood over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage. Forgive me, Lord Jesus, for all the times I look away and fail to look to the cross for courage. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I could now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load, the sins of mankind. Each step looked as if it would be his last. I felt his very every pain in my heart, and I wanted the whole thing to end. Then I noticed some commotion near Jesus. The guard had pulled a protesting man from the crowd. They forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load. He asked the guards why this has to be. But I knew and so followed silently. Lord Jesus, forgive me for the countless time I have refused to help you. Forgive me for all the times I have put my will before yours. Forgive me for all the times I have put my needs before the needs of others. I have been a selfish person who has often questioned your word don't let me remain like this, but help me to be like your mother, Mary, who always obey the will of God and follow silently. Who could see that mother's grief without being saddened too? while she suffers with her son. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As I continue close by Jesus, a woman pushed past the guards, took off her veil and began to wipe my son's bleeding, sweaty face. The guards immediately pulled her back from uh, aiding my son. Her face seemed to say, Why are you doing this to him? But I knew, so I walked on in faith silently. Lord, this woman gave you the best she could. Lord, you have blessed me with so much, yet I always take more than I give. So many opportunities arise every day for me to give to you by giving to others. But I pass them by. Forgive me, Lord Jesus, my Savior, Never let me ask why again, but help me to give all I have to you. For the sins of all the people saw Jesus hang in desolation, all with bloody scourges ran. The seven station. Jesus falls the second time. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again my son fell, and again my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die as he collapsed beneath the weight of his cross. I started to move towards him, but the soldier prevented me. He rose again and stumbled ahead slowly. Seeing my son fall, get up again and continue on, was bitter anguish to me. But I knew this has to be. I walk on silently. Lord, for all people, Mary was your most faithful follower. Never stopping in spite of all the pain, she fell for you. I have never many times turned away from you by my sins and have caused others to turn away from you. I beg you to have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, every time I fall under the weight of my daily cross, give me the strength and grace to get up and continue on. See this most beloved Son dying there in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The eighth station, Jesus met the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I was walking a few steps behind my son when I saw him stop. Some women were there crying for him and pitying him. He told them not to shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He told them to shed tears for themselves, tears that would bring their conversion. They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did, and as he walked on, I followed silently. My Savior, many times I have acted like this woman, always seeing the faults in others and pitying them. Yet very rarely do I see my own sinfulness and ask your pardon. Forgive me, Lord, for my own blindness. Lord Jesus, give me the grace and humility to acknowledge my own faults and not those of others. May the flame of my own heart love Jesus, your only Son, so that I may please Him. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This fall of Jesus was agony to me. Not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again, but now he was almost at the top of the hill of crucifixion. The soldiers scream at him and abuse him, almost dragging him the last few steps. My heart pounded as I imagined what they would do to him next. But I knew this had to be, so I climbed the hill silently behind him. My loving Jesus, I know that many times I have offered my hand to help people, but when it became inconvenient or painful to me, I left them. Making excuses for myself, help me, Lord Jesus, to be like your mother, Mary, 
and never take my supporting hand away from those who need it. Thy Son into a man on the cross, who for me was crucified. Let me share with thee his pain. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. With my son finally relieved of the way of the cross, I thought he would have a chance to rest. But the guards immediately started to rip his clothes off of his bloody clothes skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable. But I knew this has to be. I stood by and cry silently. Lord, in my own ways I too have stripped you. I have taken away the good name of another by foolish talk and have stripped people of human dignity by my prejudice. Jesus, there are so many ways I have offended you through the hurt and pain I have caused others. Help me, Lord, to see you in all people. Let me mingle tears with thee, for Jesus, dear beloved, all the days that I may live. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they threw Jesus on the cross, he willingly allowed himself to be nailed. As they punctured his hands and his feet, I felt the pain in my heart. Then they lifted up the cross. There he was, my son, whom I loved so much, being scourged as he struggled for the last few moments of earthly life. But I knew that has to be, so I stood by and prayed silently. Lord, what pain you endure for me. You endure torture, shame, ridicule, and crucifixion for my salvation. What pain your mother went through watching you die because of your love for me. Yet you are always ready to forgive me when I repent for my sins that crucify you. Lord Jesus, help me to turn away from my sinfulness. Virgin of all virgins best, listen to my fond request. Let me share my grief divine. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes? I, who had brought this Savior into the world and watched him grow, stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died. His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. But I knew that has to be, and I had to accept it, so I stood by and mourned silently. My Jesus, have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you. I thank you, my Lord Jesus, for your great act of love. You have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends. 
Let me always be your friend. Teach me to live my life for others and not fail you again. Let me be wounded with his wounds, be saturated with his crowns, and with the blood of dear Son. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The crowd has gone. The commotion and the turmoil has ceased. I stood quietly and looked up at the dead body of my son, our Savior. Then two men brought his body down from the cross and placed him in my arms. A deep sorrow engulfed my being, yet I also felt deep joy. Life has ended cruelly for my son, but it has also brought life to all of us. I knew this has to be, and I pray silently. Lord, your passion has ended, yet it still goes on whenever I choose sin over you. I have done my part in your crucifixion, and now my Savior. I beg your forgiveness with all my heart. Help me to live a life worthy of you and your mother. Be to me, O virgin night, lest in flame I burn and die in his awful judgment day. The fourteenth station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I brought Jesus' body to a tomb, and I arranged it there myself, silently weeping, silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son and then walked out. They closed the tomb, and before I left, I thought, I knew this has to be. It has to be for you. I would wait in faith silently for him to return just as he said. Yes, my Lord, I know this had to be because you love me. All you ask is that I live a good life. You never said such a life would be easy. I am willing to leave sin behind and live for you alone. Lord Jesus, give me the strength and the grace to lead a life that is pleasing to you. Be with me, Lord till you return. While my body here decays, may my soul thy goodness praise with your glory forever. The fifteenth station, Jesus it raised from the dead, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I could only be most grateful for the sacrifice of my Son for us. Yet what emptiness I felt trying to live without him whom I love so. But only two days later, that emptiness was filled beyond belief. He has risen. Our Savior has opened the doors to a new life. That is the way it has to be, because His undying love for you would not stop at anything less. I could rejoice forever, but not in silence. My Savior, thank you. 
Thank you for such endless love that helps me to rise out of my sinfulness. I will try again to live a better life. Help me to always remember that love. Mary, mother of our risen Savior, teach me to be like you. And in my love for others, loves him in return. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now to the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Happy Lent.